Security in IoT is critical. Uh, it's very similar to what it used to be for IT, and we'll talk about that with our friends from Trend Micro today on the IoT Show. Hey everyone, this is the IoT Show. I'm Olivier, your host. Uh, we will be talking about security. I have Richard Koo with me. Hey Richard, how are you doing? Good. So Richard, um, who are you and what are you doing? Well, um, again, my name is Richard Koo and I'm with a company called Trend Micro. Um, as you know, we have been doing you know, information security technology for many, many years. Uh, so that's who we are and I'm based in uh, Southern California. Awesome. Uh, it's sunny here as well in Seattle. Well, not today, yes, but yes. yeah, we get some sun here as well. So, Richard, um, I wanted to have you on the show. We're talking about internet things here. Um, you've been in the world of IT security for a long time. Yeah. And I was curious to have your insights into, uh, beyond the fact that Trend Micro is a partner helping customers uh, implementing security in, in their systems, including IoT uh, solutions, I wanted to have your perspective on how do you approach security? What is it you recommend customers to implement, what to pay attention to, especially when it comes to that new world of IoT, digital transformation helping uh, now the mix of OT and IT world. So what is your perspective? How do you approach security and can you share that with our audience? Yeah, so, so as you mentioned, right, at Trend Micro as a company, right, we have been around for 30 years and over the last three years, we have been focused on traditional IT security, yep. right? But I think for many uh, enterprise customers, right, mm -hmm. that's what we have been doing, focusing on protecting that environment. But over the last, I would say, several years, right, we start to see a convergence of the IT, OT environment, right, together, mm -hmm. right? And, you know, and over the last couple of years, we are now starting to build and develop security solution, right, to secure the customer on the OT environment, right? Like 30 years ago, I think, uh, IT security used to be more of an afterthought. Right, okay. you know, for many organizations. But I think as people go into this digital transformation, we start to see company and, you know, and the network start to basically expand and then now there's different attack vectors and the attack surface for the, you know, the adversary. Right? And so, you know, now we are basically creating solution to help secure that kind of environment, especially on the OT side, okay. because of this digital transformation. Right? But is it, so how different from your perspective is it to do traditional uh, security uh, in, in the IT world uh, to doing security today with OT coming into play? Uh, what are the key differences? How, how, how does a customer need to approach that new uh, era? Yeah. I think from a, Security perspective, it's all about, you know, people, technology, and process, and stuff like that, right? And so, you know, if you look at, you know, from a security on the traditional IT side, uh, like, you know, for example, you know, anti-malware, IPS, capabilities, mm -hmm. or, you know, vulnerability patching, and stuff like that, the technology itself is not very different, right? Okay. You know, you're going to, the, the threat will be very similar, and the technology will be very similar. The different is that, you need to make sure that the, the product or the technology you created need to work on the OT side, right? Because, for example, I have visited many customers, and what I see is that they are trying to use a vulnerability scanner on the traditional IT environment, right? Mm -hmm. And that does not necessarily work on the OT side, right? So because of the different protocol, the different operating system that on the OT mm -hmm. side and mm -hmm. the complexity, right, those products have to be developed in such a way. Uh, adopt to that kind of environment, right? So that's the biggest challenge. The other thing I, I think is that 30 years ago, and just like on the OT side, right, today, people always look at security as, a, you know, as afterthought today on the OT yeah. side, right? Yeah. And that's the biggest challenge, it is to educate, you know, our customer and our partners on how to think about security as part of the development cycle, right? And yep. make sure that uh, they, understand that secure code or you know implement security policies and educating users and implement the right product in, into the OT environment is, is some of the critical thing they have to look at. Okay, interesting. Yeah, so at the end of the day, it's not that different, but you need to pay attention to these specific things. You were mentioning the protocols, the type of devices. That's correct. Uh, we're talking, we, we, we are um, talking about devices that might look like PCs, but not really, right? Like like ATM machines right. or things like that sometimes. Yeah. Well, even like, for example, in the office, you have like a copy machine, right? Now it's basically IP-based and it's, 
interconnected to your networks, mm -hmm. and that can be a potential threat vector, you know, for the you yeah. know, bad guys. Yeah. So, and what are the risks? Because we're talking about security, as in, like, hey, like you need to implement security that way or that way. What are the risks actually that uh, you get your um, maybe an ATM is an obvious one that yes, it's risky because it t touches on money. But let's say I have a thermostat at home, uh, you know, it gets hacked. What is the risk behind that? Well, you know, when you, when you look at some of these, you know, IoT device or industrial IoT device, right? Because they're typically the you new know, IP based, right? And you know, they have an IP address. Mm -hmm. and, and the risk of that is that people or the bad guy could basically compromise those devices, and from there they can get access to your networks, right? And then mm -hmm. from there they can potentially, you know, install some ransomware, right? Or you know, install some backdoor, and basically they can exfiltrate your data you know, from your, you know, server and back to the uh, adversary's, you know, site, okay, right? Okay. And so there are different type of risks. Uh, for example, you know, this particular diagram that I, you know, has show, mm -hmm. you know, which talk about the different risks, right, across the IT OT environment. You know, for example, here we talk about the business risk, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. for organization. Uh, you know, from a financial perspective, or from um, you know, damaging in terms of the reputation of the company, mm -hmm. right? And then, of course, that's at the business level. But at the you know platform level, right? You have a different type of risk where uh, the adversary could potentially you know basically compromise the platform, mm -hmm. right? And be able to exfiltrate data from there. And even at the device level, right? Where you know many of these devices are not well you know secure right yeah, and yeah. some of the time our default password and you know people can actually you compromise like the system as a password yes exactly uh, and so there are a lot of risks you know when we come to you know the device level or at the platform level or even at the yeah. business level right and even like a traditional threat today right you know mm -hmm. we talk about ransomware mm -hmm. or you know some of the you know apt right mm -hmm. you know most customer doesn't think that this yeah. kind of threat will affect mm -hmm. right the OT environment, but it can happen, right? And yeah. we see that you know in many of the examples, the last yes. you know I think in a couple you know I say years where we yeah. see that kind of attack. I think in the, in the uh, industrial IoT world, some some customers understand when when you talk to them about you know damaging a uh, you know a production chain or something like that or downtime on these chains. It's like millions of dollars an hour immediately, right? And so they actually do understand the the, the, the impact. Yes. If a device you know gets compromised and start not working as expected. Yeah, because because uh, traditional on the IT side, we you know you know people worry about okay you know is my data is going to be compromised right mm -hmm. or you know maybe I got and people might sell my data you know into the dark web mm -hmm. right but you know the, the the damage or you know on, on the OT side is much more critical right you know if you have somebody compromise your Let's say you know factory plan or mm -hmm. you know factory four, right? You know that could stop their whole operation, and that could be months and you know weeks, you know of you know production yeah. downtime, and that could cost millions of dollars, right? Or if somebody tried to compromise, let's say a SCADA system or HMI machine, mm -hmm. right? And they could make configuration change, right, to the you know to the application, yeah, yeah. and that can impact impact the you know production line or. If you are manufacturing, it's a, you know, telling a robot to yeah, you know, yeah. do some kind of manufacture, right? A small change that right, can really affect the safety of the component that is um, you know developing, right? So cool. okay, interesting. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's a good uh, you know overview of what I, I like your perspective of that. Hey, I've been in security for IT for a long time. Same principles apply. New types of risks, new new types of attack vectors and right. surfaces, uh, but same principles. Like be careful, be safe. Right. Uh, yeah, that's great. It's awesome. Thanks a lot. Um, if you want to get help from partners, we have a bunch of partners, right, that can help our customers getting into that digital transformation journey uh, and make sure that they implement things right from the get go. Security should not be an afterthought, right? That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Thanks, Richard. Thank nice you. Nice to have you. Appreciate it.